Howdy all. You know, I did a video last night talking about uh, men's first. I had a few beers and I, I'm still debating this whether I should upload it or not. Uh, anyway, this video is, you know, because I talk a lot about like psychology and manipulation and, and that sort of thing. And just ever so randomly, I just found this video like just lurking in, in my feed. Now, it's from a content creator called Natalie Gance. Or at least, well, that's a channel name. And it's this, this is just it, right? Make them miss you so badly, even if they left you. Um, and then it's got Neville Goddard written after it. But this, listen to this, right? They will miss you badly, even if they are the ones that left you. I'm going to be sharing with you today just how you... No, no, no. If they left you, they're not going to miss you. Right? They left for a reason. But let's let's just carry on because this is entertaining. I'm not going to listen to the full 20 minute video, that's for sure. You know, I mean, this tells me everything I need to know about this, this sort of a person. You can get them to miss you by taking no action whatsoever. No physical action whatsoever. How you can get your specific person to miss you again. But that's, that's, what, that's what they wanted. It's like they didn't want to be with you. So they left. Right? And you, 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 this is how you end up with, you know, people living in your head rent free. Right? <laughs> I mean, the cognitive dissonance here is fucking strong, I've got to say. To badly miss you. To yeah. think about you non stop to the extent that they. You're kidding me, it's like, got other things to worry about, do you know what I mean, other than something, I mean, yeah, you, you know, it, it, in cases you might be upset, you might be pissed off that it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, or the way you expected it to, but like, I'm pretty sure in the majority of cases, when the person that is walking away, you know, they, 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 it's because they've made a decision. Right, the decision was to not hang out with the person that they were previously hanging out with or in a relationship with or whatever, right? It's not because they wanted to spend the time, quite quite the opposite. But these people seem to think that they can manipulate their way into this shit. And the thing is, it's like, it's ridiculous. Like, it, like literally, I can't see it. It's, this is internalised stupidity right here. There we go. If you follow what I share with you, gives me your money. See, typical manipulation tactic right there. Oh, this is why I'm... You see what I have the people... The, the issues I have with people, right? This this is this is part of it. This, this is... this is what's like... Because I know people like this exist. It's like, ain't the first person to be trying this shit on. I get it, you know. But you see, what, what pains me is how many people don't don't see what others see like people what i see you know seeing it for what it is it's like no they left because they didn't want to be with you simple and you you ignoring them is not manipulating the situation you're literally just not you, you you're just making a problem for you right the other person is living in in, in your head rent free Of course you have, of course you have, sweetheart. And as you thought, you know, the reason why you're not with any of them people now, so I'm being kind of a bit of a dick, I get that. It's just in my nature. There's no point denying it anymore. <laughs> you know, so, so she's admitting to deliberately manipulating the situation. You know, a, psycholo a psychological manipulation on someone else's emotion emotions. You know, this is why you just don't negotiate with emotional terrorists. That's all that they are, they're psychological and emotional terrorists. Oh yeah, I've done this several times before. Oh, so it, it's not like you, you did it once for the, for the sake of trying to get back the person that you thought was the love of your life. You know, you, you did it on purpose. And then how did these scenarios crop up? You know, what, what was it that caused the other people to leave? I'm just saying. <clears throat> Go into 
Yeah, and so if it works, why isn't she with any of them exes now? Or maybe she is, I don't actually know, to be fair. But still, I mean, I'm, I'm 55 minutes into her video and five minutes into mine. And it's not that I'm going around the houses, really. Not by comparison to what I normally do. Yeah, I'll carry on. The video, I want you to claim this, that you believe that anything is possible, that yes, you can get them to miss you. Claim it <laughs> If you believe that anything is possible, my God. <laughs> right? Anything, anything is possible. Yeah, yeah, if you believe that anything is possible, if you're willing to lie to yourself, if you're willing to literally manipulate yourself, if you believe it, right, you, you, you can ignore the other person to make them want you back. No, you see, the thing is, is sometimes people can walk away from a situation that they thought was off, you know, for some reason. I've been there myself, right? You, you, you meet someone, you spend some time with them, and, you know, there's maybe mannerisms or just a few situations might have happened where you saw them in a different light to what you'd be what you're used to seeing them in and so you might decide to cool it down a bit or just walk away altogether which is in most cases your, your gut instinct is probably right so that is that is the better option but then later, after thinking about the situation, again, whether it's a justification to yourself because maybe you're actually really attracted to the person, so you're willing to start lying to yourself in the same kind of way. Or maybe they're not that bad. It's like, no, they are. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like, this chick, could you imagine this chick in a relationship? Toxic as fuck. I reckon, I reckon toxic. Like, if, if she's willing to manipulate someone else by me and... and you know any anyone that listens and, and follows you know what i mean it's like just ridiculous you know I, I don't know what's wrong with people these days below with any type of comment aligning to that belief that yes they will miss me badly they will miss me badly you can even say they are missing me so badly right oh it's just it's just terrible. It's just a sad state of affairs, isn't it? When when people are intentionally trying to manipulate others, about manipulating others, whilst the only person they're really manipulating is themselves. I mean, this is this is it. It's like the, the choices. We all have choices in life, right? But by these emotional manipulation tactics you, you, you're trying to and, and look every, every dating coach has said this about the whole no contact rule understand understand that because it is true to a degree but with some people like yours truly it, it doesn't work like I'll, I'll, I'll see it for what it is it's like oh, you, you're not contacting me because you don't want to contact me that's fine I'm living my life I'm doing my thing and you know seeing other people or whatever so it doesn't phase me and a lot of the time these, these chicks seem to think that, you know, you, in, in the sort of dating phase and that, for guys that it's applicable to, you know, they, they seem to think that you, they are the only option for you, or they are the only, not, not option, but, you know what I mean? It's just they put themselves on a pedestal. And, and again, a, a lot of them do it with this, this mentality with, without really seeing their actual self-worth when it comes down to, I suppose, uh, self-respect and <laughs> at least some stoicism. But uh, I don't think that a lot of modern women nowadays are really cut out for that. I mean, this, this chick here is trying to manipulate the situation on how to get someone to come back to you. So would it not be better to just let them come back to you at, at their own accord rather than, you know, you, you, you sat there, you know, trying to invoke some uh, magical chant of some description in order to manipulate someone else's feelings towards you. And, and again, this, you know, for those that are interested in or uh, have an interest in the whole magic thing, it's like that's why love spells, you know, yeah, they, they might work, but remember the, the key is in the word spell. Right? A spell is a short, brief period of time. That can be anywhere from a day to a week to a month to a year. You know? So again, pe people that go around doing air quote spells on people, like, 
I mean, whatever floats your boat, but it's like, really, so you, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't try and manipulate and take away someone else's free will. Do you know what I mean? Like, but when, when the, the bad men of society go and do that in a physical sense to women, you, you know what I mean? It's, I, I know it is two separate things, but you know, I'm, I'm talking about like emotional manipulation, that sort of thing. When, when it's, when it's the bad men of society that do that to, to the women then it's seen as more of a problem, but all the time that, you know, <laughs> yeah, just do a love spell. So no, don't, don't do that, it's stupid, for starters. It's irresponsible, it's selfish. But then this, this also digresses back to what I've said about the narcissistic society that we live in. Whereas people want what they want. They, uh, again, when it comes down to the whole cluster B thing, then these people a lot of the time that it's it, people are almost like um, possessions to them and, and this not limited to just random people that they meet also includes family members and pets it's all, it's all the same sort of thing where, where that is more of a thing obviously you know rather than seeing it on a in more of an individual level but don't, don't want to go around the edges of that one either but yeah I'll, I'll let her we're a minute 16 in now so now i want you to claim that it is possible yeah, for them it. to come back mm -hmm. to you okay so what are the steps let's get into this so number one is don't bother. stop taking any fucking action you don't have to take any physical action stop the calling stop the pursuing stop... <laughs> if it they're just not that into you i'm sorry it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's true though. It's it's funny how the psychology works because with that, um, when when a when a person gets rejected, a lot of the time, it the the obsessive behaviour can sort of become a thing, you know. And again, I think a lot of the times you, you you'll see this in most people when when breakups occur and. You know, for, for very many different reasons. And it doesn't really matter which way it's going. Like, I've been in that situation where I've, I've walked away from people. And th there was a whole load of pursuing afterwards from, from their side. It's, you know, like I say, it's like, no, like, if I've left someone, it's, it's because, I, you know what I mean? Obviously, some sort of compatibility issue. Not necessarily a problem with them, I'm just saying. And again, the, the the sort of pattern of behaviour, you know, can be exactly that. The you know, because it, it's when your ego goes into overdrive mode, like why doesn't this person want me? And then the less the other person wants you, the the more, you know, you might find yourself doubling down. Like you might text them, I don't know, two or three times more often than what you normally would, or try and call them more often. And I suppose in some cases, maybe even trying to force scenarios. You know, where when people start turning up, when you know. And you don't quite expect it in, in places that you normally go to yeah there, there's a name for that it, it, it should work both ways but unfortunately the, the law seems a bit biased it it looks down more on men that that do uh, have that sort of behavior than they do women in i think a lot of cases at least but yeah uh, why would you want to manipulate someone to be with you you know if it, they, they, if, if it just move on simple don't don't be sat there listening to the advice of natalie over here oh yeah just ignore them just do nothing just really want them back and it's like well stand up what you should be doing this is what they teach the opposite stuff you need to take some time and like reboot yourself like hit the restart button on on the patterns that you know how you lived your life prior to meeting that person become yourself again you know go go through whatever whatever emotional pain you, you're going to go through as a result of you know rejection but no absolutely don't don't be calling them give them their peace give them their time maybe they'll change their mind depending on the situation but you know a lot of the time if someone's walked away it's, it's because they don't want to be with you and the best thing people can do is just accept that maybe if if introspection is required to work on their their personal flaws or character traits or whatever if it's something that they can work on then yeah work on them to try and become a a, a better person you know become better than what you were previously it's not necessarily about 
for the next person to enter into your life. I mean, sure, that's what the dating coaches would be saying because, you know, they want to tell you all this stuff because they know you're going to give them money for it, right? I'm just saying. Just saying. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I don't really want to listen to any more of that. I think I've, I've like, that one, one and a half minutes was, was more than enough for, for me to cover this video. But yeah, thoughts, comments, and opinions, feel free to drop them down to the next one. Stay cool. Peace out.